The purpose of this video is to provide instructions on how to make no sew insulated thermal curtains. When it's cold outside and you're sitting in your bedroom or your living room, there always seems to be a draft that you feel coming from somewhere. It might be from your window, it might be from your door. And this thermal curtain idea will help to block some of the air that might be getting through your windows and through your doors. Supplies needed include a flannel fabric, a spring tension shower curtain rod, which is available in different lengths. And as an option to create a hem, you can use either fusible hem tape, which is the type of a tape that you can use with an iron to make a hem, or either cloth glue. This is a picture of some double layered flannel curtains that I made for my bedroom. And behind the flannel is uh, some mini blinds. And in front of the flannel is room darkening curtains. So prior to me putting the flannel in the window, I only had the glass, the mini blinds, and the room darkening curtains, which did not offer much protection from the air getting through and keeping it cold in my bedroom. We're now in my living room and this video reflects the curtains that I have hanging at one of my windows. I've pulled it back to illustrate the double insulated thermal curtains that I have made out of flannel fabric. In addition to that, I wanted to include the picture of a door that leads out to my porch and it shows a window with or a door with many blinds. And then at the very top is an example of that spring tension rod, which I have a curtain hanging on that to try to keep out some of the draft that comes through that door. But I'm also going to be adding a double insulated flannel curtain to prevent some of the additional air that seems to seep through that door. Let's get going with actually making these curtains. Measure the window's width and the length. My living room's window's measurements were 36 inches wide by 72 inches long. My flannel fabric's width is 45 inches, which means that it would certainly accommodate the 36 inch width of the window. As a result of these measurements, I had one piece of fabric cut that was four yards long or otherwise 144 inches long, which would allow me to make a double sided curtain that was 72 inches in length, front and back. You can create a half inch hem along the bottom of the curtain by using fusible hem tape in which the iron is used to help fuse or to attach together the tape and the hem without using sewing, or you can use fabric glue to keep the fabric together in order to make a hem. Next, install the spring tension rod inside of the window's frame. Fold the four yard long piece of fabric in half and evenly place down the front and back of the tension rod. This picture is an example of how it might look. If you prefer to have your tension rod to go through casing, then stitching will be required. In this particular case, I recommend that a straight stitch be sewn either by the sewing machine or by hand that's approximately three inches below the fold line of the fabric that's been folded. Before closing out this video, I wanted to highlight a couple of things. One is that do-it-yourself, no-sew insulated curtains can be assembled and made in about 15 minutes. I've selected flannel fabric because it's relatively inexpensive, it's known for keeping you warm, and it can block air leaks through windows and doors. However, if you don't have flannel, you might have some old sheets, so use those if you don't have anything else. 
The spring tension adjustable curtain rods are commonly used to hang shower curtains in bathrooms. They don't require any special equipment in order to mount them. So I thought that would be a reasonable alternative for actually hanging the curtains. The other advantage of using this particular technique that I've outlined is that it doesn't require that you remove or alter any currently hanging curtains in your home. As always, thank you for viewing this video. Don't forget to please like and subscribe to Sewing with Desi to be notified when new videos are added. And comments are always welcome.